Okay, this is the third video on fixing this broken attic truss, doing the repair to it. So this is the truss we're going to repair. I just want to show you what the steps are going to look like as they're completed. This truss here is about two-thirds done. It's got a new top cord sistered to it, one on each side. It is used construction adhesive in between the old and the new wood, and it used um, construction screws in order to fasten it. So we put the wood in place, we drill some pilot holes, we take the wood off, we put on the construction adhesive, we put the wood back on, and then we drive all of these screws home. There's 32 per side. There'll be a video on the actual um, design and the engineering that went into this repair. Just a disclaimer, the stuff that I'm doing to fix my roof is according to the engineer specifications. If you've got stuff going on in your roof, you're going to need someone else to tell you how to fix that. Because if you use this fix on a different style of wood truss, you might actually be transferring the stress of the wood not where it was intended to go, and you could cause long-term damage later on. So you're going to need a building permit. You're going to need somebody to evaluate it. I'm just showing you how I have to fix mine. So in this case, we sister the top cord with new wood on both sides. And then the last step is putting on a plywood gusset plate. We're not going to use those small metal ones. We're going to make one out of plywood. This is half inch. This is 36 inches long. It's 16 inches deep. This has also got construction adhesive. And this has two inch construction screws holding it to the new member. So the steps are we clean the site like we already did, take off all the nails, get ourselves ready. We put on the members. And then last, we put on a new plywood gusset plate. So this strengthens the wood this way. This helps you with twisting. So we're going to go ahead and set this one up. The first thing we have to do is get the wood in place, get it nice and tight so that we can drill our pilot holes, then take it off and put the construction adhesive behind it. If it was a small piece of wood, you could do it all at once. You could put the adhesive on, put it in place, then drill your pilot holes. But this is so big, that the construction adhesive would start to set up before I get all my clamps in place and then I'm going to lose the benefit of having a really good um, tight clamping system so I need to do this in two steps. I'm going to show you the jigs that I made to help me get two pieces of wood where they need to go.